Lesson 7. Subtracting Fractions Using Cross Multiplication So far in this course, you've subtracted fractions using three different methods that work under certain conditions. When the denominators are the same, you can subtract numerators. For example, 7 ninths minus 5 ninths equals 2 ninths. When both numerators are 1, you can subtract the denominators in reverse order and then multiply them. For example, 1 half minus 1 11 equals 9 over 22. And when one denominator is a factor of the other, you can increase the terms of the lower denominator and then subtract. For example, 3 fourths minus 1 eighth equals 6 eighths minus 1 eighth, which equals 5 eighths. Now, consider 2 thirds minus 1 fifth. To solve this problem, you can't use any of the three methods you've already learned for subtracting fractions. As when adding fractions, however, you can use cross multiplication to turn any pair of fractions into two equivalent fractions that have a common denominator. For example, to subtract 2 thirds minus 1 fifth, first find the common denominator by multiplying 3 times 5 equals 15. Now, Cross multiply 2 times 5 equals 10, and 1 times 3 equals 3. Placing these results in the numerators, the resulting fractions have the same denominator, so you can subtract 10 fifteenths minus 3 fifteenths equals 7 fifteenths. As another example, to subtract 8 ninths minus 3 fourths, multiply the denominators 9 times 4 equals 36 and use this number as your common denominator. Next, multiply 8 times 4 equals 32, and 9 times 3 equals 27, placing these numbers in the numerators. To complete the problem, subtract 32 over 36 minus 27 over 36, so the answer is 5 over 36. As a final example, Subtract 7 tenths minus 2 elevenths using a common denominator of 10 times 11 equals 110. Next, cross multiply 7 times 11 equals 77, and 2 times 10 equals 20. So 7 tenths minus 2 elevenths equals 57 over 110.